Nature. Nature. Nature! My parents instilled in us from a young age that nature was good for the soul. They took my sister and I outside whenever possible and urged us to find activities we enjoyed in nature, even if it meant putting the fun between our legs. They inspired us to go to the tops of mountains and even underwater, which is pretty amazing. Eventually, we started sending it. My first big trip without my parents was with my two best friends two weeks before I started college. We ended up in Bryce Canyon National Park. Just look at us, young, naive, and all dressed in tie-dye. You know what that means. <laughs> Just kidding, but we thought it was funny. After that, it was a blur of adventure. As I started to be in the natural world more, I gained a whole new respect as I learned an increasing amount about myself. That respect is not enough though, I realized I needed to become educated on the ways to protect myself and the nature around me. So that's what I'm going to talk to you all about today. Seven principles of Leave No Trace. These principles discuss where to camp, how to deal with fire, and ways to respect other visitors and the wildlife. Good things to know when adventuring in the great outdoors. Principle number one, plan and prepare ahead. Oh, shoot, I forgot to prepare ahead. <laughs> Awkward. Anyway, here are some tips for preparing ahead that include preparing for extreme weather, using a map and compass, and knowing the special regulations and concerns for the area, such as flash flood warnings. Principle number two, walk and camp on durable surfaces. This includes walking on pre-existing trails and camping in established campgrounds if in popular areas. Also remember to always camp 200 feet from water source so you don't scare away the critters. In the desert, this principle is especially important due to the cryptobiotic soil or biological soil crust. It consists of cyanobacteria, lichens, and mosses, and when wet, the cyanobacteria moves through the soil and binds with unstable rock and soil particles, forming a stable surface resistant to both wind and water erosion. This way, both plants and wildlife can thrive in the environment. Principle number three, dispose of waste properly. This means if you have to poop outdoors, either bury it six inches deep or pack it out. I'm going to be honest with you. When I go on my usual three-day backpacking trips, I normally don't poop. My body just locks that shit down, literally. But if you do need to poop outdoors, Mr. Parker Spots can tell you how it's done. Number one, a beautiful view. Number two, lots of rocks piled up into a throne. And number three, the ability to read your body so that you have 30 minutes ahead of time to do all this. And we have a game to make pooping fun outdoors. If you have a beautiful view, one point. If you see wildlife while you're pooping, two points. And if you see wildlife pooping while you're pooping while looking at a beautiful view, you win. Principle number four, minimize campfire impact. Fire is powerful and needs to be handled with care. Smokey the Bear is the Santa Claus of the wilderness. He's always watching and wanting you to be good. He asks that when backpacking, avoid fires and use a lightweight camp stove for cooking. When fires are permitted, use established fire rings and only sticks from the ground that can be broken by hand. Burn all wood and coals to ash, put out campfires completely, and scatter the cooled ashes. Principle number five, leave what you find. I mean, if you were a rock in a really beautiful place, would you want to be transported to somebody's house? I don't think so. Principle number six, respect wildlife. This includes observing wildlife from a distance, never feeding the animals, securing your food, especially in bear boxes if in bear country, and avoiding wildlife during sensitive times, such as mating or when they're with their young. And finally, principle number seven, be considerate of others. My friends and I love to go camping, and although we tend to be a little rowdy sometimes, it's important to be courteous to others and allow them to see how neat nature can be too. Some of my most memorable moments have been made on the trail, and I look forward to meeting people with each new adventure. These are the seven leave no trace principles. I take them with me each time I pack for a trip. I even go over them with my friends when we are in the outdoors to make sure we're protecting ourselves and the natural world the best we can. Hey, notice the painting in the background on the right? It's the one that read free art over at Amoochies. It says part wolf, 
and has a guy on it that looks like he's part wolf. How sick is that? I mean, come on. I hope all of you would have picked it up. Anyway, I will pass it along, Andy. Don't worry. But I do believe we all have a little wolf. Or at least a little wild in us. No matter how suppressed it is. It's there. So I'll end by saying something especially cheesy. Go find your inner wild. By going out into the literal wild. Yeah. Yeah, I like